Losing fat is incredibly simple to understand. Actually implementing it, it is, is what is hard for people. And so for me, I, I really genuinely b believe that fat loss is not made in the kitchen. I can make peanut butter sandwiches and donuts in the kitchen. I truly believe that fat loss is made in the mind, the dedication to what you want to achieve. I am not a qualified dietitian or nutritionist, so through the power of YouTube, I'm gonna give you eating advice. This video is about the concept of calorie starvation versus calorie deficit for fat loss. In order to achieve fat loss, there are certain scientific principles that you have to have. One of those is calorie deficit. Another one of those is quality of macronutrients. Another one is to keep a good amount of hydration. And so I firmly believe that the quantity and quality of your calories matter. Quantity being calorie deficit for fat loss. And the amount of calories directly applies to the amount of fat that you lose. And quality being the quality of your macronutrients. Of course there is flexibility to have certain foods which may not be seen as ideal, but fueling your body with quality nutrients whilst in calorie deficit are absolutely vital for maintaining this muscle mass and helping you through your intense workouts because the leaner you get, the less your body wants to give up that fat. The more that I believe you have to create a deficit through a, a larger amount of physical activity in addition to dietary restriction, but one problem that a lot of people have is they just crash diet. For example, if they want to create a 500 calorie deficit per day, they take them a basal metabolic rate, including their daily activity through work and life, and they simply cut 500 dietary calories. This is starvation, calorie starvation, and your body will adapt, your metabolism will slow down, and where do you go from there? What, you, what are you gonna do then? Just continue to cut dietary calories. You're gonna lose muscle mass, large amounts of fluids, and it, to the point where you completely hit your plateau. It's absolutely vital to cut calories, to be in deficit to lose fat, but don't starve yourself. Make sure that you have a challenging gym program, which includes resistance training to maintain and build muscle. For example, if I'm creating a 1,000 calorie deficit per day, 500 of that deficit may be created by physical activity, including resistance training. Of course, cardio is important because cardio has that thermogenic effect. And then the other 500 calories I will cut from dietary needs. Now, one distortion of fact that the mainstream fitness industry will give you is throwing you all these specific diets, throwing you all these body images of guys and girls looking amazing, selling this diet, that diet. It all comes down to the same scientific principles of fat loss. Let me give you an example. Right now, every damn day fitness and myself are both losing fat. We are using exactly the same scientific principles of cutting calories, maintaining adequate protein levels, eating quality nutrients, staying hydrated. However, our eating protocols are completely different. We are both going to achieve fat loss. We're just going to achieve it using the same scientific principles, but through different protocols. For example, I like to put uh, coconut milk in my coffee. He has black coffee. I like to eat several small meals throughout my eating window. I eat uh, around eight to 10 hour window a day. And within that, I prefer to have smaller, more frequent meals. And this is um, not just uh, in, in terms of when I can eat and how I like to eat, but also it's mental for me. I like to consistently have that food being put into my mouth, whereas he will have every damn day fitness will have two larger meals uh, as he's showing on his Instagram now. The sizes of our meals, the portions, the timing are different, but we're both going to achieve fat loss because the scientific basis is there. And that's what you should never lose sight of. There are so many eating protocols you can lose and they will work. You can carb cycle, you can low carb, you can keto, you can do so many different eating protocols, you can eat only one type of macronutrient per meal. You can inter intermittently fast as long as you are 
creating that through physical activity as well as dietary calorie cutting, you will lose fat. But that doesn't mean that every single diet or eating protocol is healthy, of course not. If you're eating, if you're creating a calorie deficit through training and food, but you're eating huge amounts of sugar, I do not believe that's healthy. Does sugar equal obesity? No, it does not. Does abuse of sugar contribute to obesity and poor health? Absolutely. The abuse of these, uh, abuse of these uh, simple sugars and specifically processed sugars will increase your insulin levels to a point where you may become insulin resistant, which absolutely will affect how your body operates, how your metabolism operates. And this is why the quality of your calories matter. We know that protein, fats, and carbohydrates have a specific effect on the body. So to say that the quality of these macronutrients we're eating don't matter as long as we're creating deficit is ignorant. We know that carbohydrates create an insulin reaction. Now, being sensible, you can do, you can eat sugar as long as you are sensible within your program. But the abuse of this will actually turn off glucagon, inhibit glucagon, which is a fat burning enzyme. Some people like to train fasted. Fasting is hugely popular now. There are benefits and disadvantages to it. There are benefits and disadvantages to every type of eating protocol. One of the benefits of, of, of training in a fasted state may actually be mental because it will help to prepare you for when you are in calorie deficit and you are training because of course when you're in calorie deficit you will feel different as you have adjusted the energy source to your body. And so most certainly find an eating protocol that suits you, suits your lifestyle, suits you mentally. I can guarantee you that I can create a plan where you will lose fat. I can guarantee I can create a technical training program for you. I can create eating guidelines for you that will allow you to cut fat. But the actual implementation of this is entirely down to you. And this is one of the reasons that people are always looking for this excuse that actually it's my training that's wrong, it's my eating that's wrong. Where is the one secret, the one way of doing it? And that's what actually in many ways fuels the money within the fitness industry. But if you accept what I've just said, that essentially there are many, many different ways you can eat, as long as you are staying within the scientific principles of fat loss and you will lose fat, then that gives you a lot of flexibility. That gives you a lot of freedom. And the problem with that is it also puts responsibility on you. It's not because you don't know the one magic trick. The responsibility for the reason that you are not where you want to be is down to you. And it's down to the discipline and the dedication. And so there's lots of information in, 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 in YouTube, disproportionate information thrown at you. So never forget the basics. Calorie deficit for fat loss, not calorie starvation. Include quality challenging resistance training and the leaner you get, the more you have to make sure that it's physical activity where you are uh, contributing to your calorie deficit. I'm James Linker. This is Shredded Sports Science.